Good morning guys. I feel like I look like a whole different person, but it's because I changed the way I do my eyebrows. I feel like I am always changing the way I do my eyebrows for some reason. Like I always want to be a different bitch. You know? But besides that, how do I feel about this one? I feel like it looks like soap brows, but like it doesn't look that drastically when I first started doing soap brows. Because when I look back at me doing soap brows, I'm just like, who let me go out like that? But regardless, here's Emily. Say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Not Emily being shy. I don't know if you guys noticed. I don't know why Emily has to sleep with a bunch of stuffed animals. At first, like, I thought, like, oh, maybe she won't notice because I threw them in the hamper, you know, to wash. And then one day she's like, Mom, where's my monkey? And I'm like, oh, so she does realize what she has in there. But I am about to get ready i need to order breakfast because i am going to my sister's and i think we are just gonna go to the park just explore around i also ordered a package from asos which was my first time ordering from asos because i wanted to buy some new pair of pants because i want more boot cut kind of pants if that makes sense well it does make sense just boot cut pants not me making it so complicated but this is the thing with me i when i tend to gain weight i tend to stay in between a middle size so i am a size 28 right now but then I fit into the 26. The 28 is too loose, but the 26 is too tight. So I can't find nothing in between, which just sucks. And that's what I hate about me, like, gaining weight. Because I just feel like I'm never at a certain number, if that makes sense. And I bought these pants, and I was having a dilemma. Because I'm like, do I really want to return them or not? But I decided to keep them. I hope I am able to fit in them soon. Because your girl really fell in love with these pants. And I feel like I always have that look, or this always happens. Tell me not, you find your favorite pair of jeans, but then it's like... They just fit you a little too tight. I got some important news. So, um, you see about those jeans that didn't fit? Your girl kind of has been working out. And they feel more better around my waist. Don't, just ignore that. I gotta throw that out. But they don't feel so tight no more. I have space to eat. Because before it was it was super tight that if i eat i probably would bust open the jeans but i could comfortably say that i could eat in these jeans and we're gonna test that out and i think that's just gonna be my outfit just the ones book on jeans and a tee and i think i'm just throwing a jean jacket on emily's fit show them your clothes you know emily's wearing a pink shirt these joggers because i was debating on putting on some shorts for her because i am sure she's gonna be running and it's 70 degrees and that is really hot but i think i'm gonna just stop rambling because i still need to go pick up food go to my sister's and then go on from there debating to wear shorts but i ended up not wearing shorts and i regret it because now i am sweating bullets i think it's also because i was struggling to carry both sodas but your girl got mcdonald's her classic which i had this thing where i would order mcdonald's every single day and luckily i've been keeping up with like a strict diet to just eat home food meals point is i just been eating less mcdonald's <laughs> look at this cutie look who came Yours? From her cake. You dyed a plant now? No. I told you, let me try to do it. If I fuck it up, I fuck it up. Damn. Dye my sister's hair. Video coming soon. And I don't even know how to dye hair. Moment of truth. Let's find out. Ah, oh, Dean, I pick up. Going to my sister's room to see what she got. I bet Emily. So she kind of got, um, 
bitten by a cat. And this is how she describes it. What happened, Mama? Uh huh. What he did? Um. He did um. He scratched or um. Um. so cute. He's so cute, right? Like you like my glasses too. I do like that little girl. Yeah. What about these? Okay, <gasps> the mocha! I had to sacrifice these shoes. She pulled the it's my birthday one card. Because <laughs> it was only one, they could get only one pair, right? But it was literally her birthday month. And she's like, but it's my birthday. And I'm like, bye. And I just sacrificed the shoes. But look at all my sisters. Oh, you got new plants? I don't know how she keeps all these plants alive. I kill cactuses. Literally. Emily's little cactus you gave her? You killed it? But <laughs> you serious? Yes, I can't keep the thing alive. I don't know why. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. You know what's the funny thing about all of this? And I feel like a whole bunch of New Yorkers actually being because they're like tourists to their own city. Like us? Because yeah, they were finally able to go to places. Yes, that's true. Right now, since, since there aren't many tourists, we can actually go out and be fine in peace. Because back then, we were like sardines and in the subway. Everywhere, we were just sardines. Bro, it feels so good though. There's literally no one. Like, it's so weird. <laughs> My stomach hurts, man. You're throwing me up with all this negative energy and shit. Like, I don't even know. What's the point? Like, I don't even know. You just make me feel like shit sometimes. I think you should start to know that because as soon as you do, you can start to accept that you're the piece of shit. Now fuck you. Yeah, running, running, got me gunning in. Old school kick, sunning, sunning. Funny how the rest come coming, coming. Funny how you back for the love that I've been. I got one too many drinks up my sleeve. My sleeve, overdose of empathy. My pops and me, more screenshots of me. The streets are free, go ahead and take from me. Feeling right, feeling right, out of line. Gotta hit my boy Ricky for the way up the time. Probably driven by this number. How's your ice cream? Sham, how's your ice cream? The whole time. The how's your ice cream? Your milkshake. She's putting more sprinkles. Because someone last minute decided to want sprinkles and she threw a whole tantrum inside. Because they couldn't take the cup back, obviously, because of COVID and that. It's stuck? But my sister got the plug and got them in the cup. And then when she was coming out, a bee was following her. A huge ass bee was following her. And literally she moved left, the bee moved left. She moved right, the bee moved right. And they're not even the little bees, they're like the huge bumblebees. But the ice cream, a huge bumblebee. I always like milkshakes that are not that sweet. You could taste the strawberry, but it's not there, but like you could taste it. And this one is like pure chocolate. That's dark chocolate. Oh, it's dark they chocolate? Have chocolate, regular chocolate. No regular chocolate? And dark chocolate is a little bit worse for me. It's it's like bitter. We're going to go to the carousel. You wanna go to the carousel? You wanna ride the horses? Yeah. You see it? I don't think it's Wow, you can't wait? Yeah. You wanna ride the horse? Yeah, it's a horse. Yeah, what color is the horse? It's not brown. It's not black either. My pops and me, more scream shots than me The streets are free, go ahead and take from me Break a mirror, fight fire with fear Kicking the highest gear, you're on the highest tier And when you're contemplating about a nation break it Don't erase a fight, we'll take a say it. Take the middle row, hate to hear it Go break your spirit, go waste the year So tell yourself that you gon' be enough When the time is rough, it's kinda hard to hear it So I'm holding I was struggling in the carousel. <laughs> My feet couldn't reach the the little handles. So I felt literally like I was tippy toying. So my feet were hurting the whole time. Emma had the time of her life, right? Yeah, I saw her. She was you... playing oh, Every time she would spin, she couldn't even see me. She was just saying hi to Oh, me. yeah, yeah. She was saying hi. And it was cute because she was saying hi to the worker too. And the worker's just like smiling too. He's like, hi. Oh my god, but I'm telling you, it was a struggle because my I couldn't reach the little pedals. This one over here. Phone? Okay. Tired already. Your feet. <laughs> 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 Guys, you like my glasses? My sister's hating on me. She don't like them. 
They're okay. They go sideways because of my crooked ears. <laughs> That's how I know I have an asymmetrical. Wait, is it asymmetrical or something? Yeah, an asymmetrical face. Because look. No, it's because you're pretty of your head. <laughs> you're relaxing? Yeah? You might be wondering where is Emily and that is because I just refilmed that whole transition clip by myself But we are finally home. I am exhausted. Emily gave up midway because my brother-in-law wanted to walk the Manhattan Bridge And yeah, Emily couldn't handle it no more. I had to carry her So I'm just like let's just go home because your girl is heavy. She weighs almost not Yeah, almost 40 pounds. So imagine me. She's like half my weight literally or I'm exaggerating, maybe like not half, but like almost half. Regardless, I got my package I told you guys I was waiting for. I don't remember if I told you exactly what it was. And the thing is that I started working out. And this is going to help me with the progress because I want to work out with a waist trainer just to give me that shape more. And I am in a tough cookie because I also ordered these other ASOS pants. Which I recommend because I didn't like splurge so much because for some reason I thought it was going to be um, like low quality. So I just wanted to try their quality of jeans and let me tell you they are thick and they're just good quality. They aren't like some Forever 21 jeans which I don't mind but I feel like I prefer to waste on jeans that are going to last me for like years. Let's hope this fits. I also got this in an extra small. I was between a small or extra small, but it does come with an extender. Not me talking ahead. Oh, it's here. The extender. I was about to say I started getting a little scared, but this looks... Yeah, I think I'm gonna need the extender. And then I'm gonna give you like a little ASOS mini haul of what I got, which is not much, it's just three items. And I am wearing one of the items and I am wearing the second item. So let me get back to you. It was this close, this close on not fitting. Your girl was sweating bullets cause I really thought it wasn't gonna fit me. And it does feel tight but it is supposed to be like this so i feel like i shouldn't be concerned and one thing i hate about these asos pants is that they are buttoned up so it'd be a struggle when i need to use the restroom because i need to unbuckle every single one but i'm gonna try on now the other asos pants and show you like i said give you a little mini haul because now i'm worried that those might not fit because i did size up in those those are a 28 and the ones i am currently wearing are a size 26 I also went with a pair of shades and I really love this kind of shades of style right now that are in trend but they are so cute like I feel so like luxurious with these shades as corny as it sounds but let's just try on and switch on to the second pair of pants also I think it depends on the brand or I'm not sure how that works because I did try on the 28 right now and it fits good but maybe it does have to do with brand sizing because trust me i be different sizes for different pair of jeans and it's just kind of annoying because you know i wish you could have like a steady size instead of like for some reason gavin my 26 oh, this <laughs> i can't breathe but i also ended up going in with a belt because i don't have like a cute belt i have like some raggedy ass belts that i use whenever because sometimes i put belts on and you can't even see them but i wanted a belt that i could like put on with a fitted shirt so the belt would look nice and just go with the outfit and you just can't go wrong with this little croc black design but regardless i'm gonna go ahead and start working out I am kind of dreading on working out, but you know, I've been just trying to maintain it. And today I felt like I ate the unhealthiest out of all the days. Like I just ate pure junk food today. I ate McDonald's in the morning, ice cream, I ate candy, and then I ate pizza and Zeppeli. So today was a bad day, so I do want to work out, but I don't because I'm lazy, but I gotta burn off everything I ate today. I am the definition of dead right now. Literally, I am dead beat. No more working out for me for this whole week. <laughs> no, but um, like a little mini review on the little fajitas. So the way I feel about it, I feel like it's super comfortable to work in, but it 
is something that I'm gonna have to get used to because I never ever worked out with a fajan on. Also, I feel like with some ab workouts, I feel it more like it's more intense because it keeps my back really straight, the fajan. So I just feel it all in my core. And there are some workouts that I do really need to push myself more. But if you guys enjoyed this vlog, please give it a like, subscribe for my content, and thank you for watching, everyone. Bye.